Hello viewers, this is Manash welcoming you to the series, You the Oracle Expert, your one-stop shop to learn and practice Oracle Database Administration and Unix with hands-on experiments using Oracle VirtualBox virtual machines. Build your knowledge base, confidence, and make your way to be an expert Oracle DBA. In the previous three videos, we learned quite a few things about VirtualBox virtual machines like how to prepare the host to install VirtualBox software, how to create the first virtual machine and to install Oracle Linux 7.9, and how to install VirtualBox guest editions to get a better graphical user interface, how to create shared folders, how to create virtual machine snapshot and restoring snapshot, how to add a new virtual disk to a virtual machine and how to create partitions, logical volumes, and how to create file systems with LVMs using SSM command. In this video, we are going to learn how to resize an existing virtual disk, how to add a physical volume to a volume group or pool, how to resize a logical volume, and how to extend a file system online using LVM. Please note that you don't have to be an expert in virtual box virtual machines or managing file systems in virtual machines, but knowledge on these areas will help you build a strong foundation and going forward, this will definitely help you manage your virtual environment. If you have not watched the previous three videos in this series, I request you to watch them first so you get a better understanding on the topics of today's video. Let's start with resizing an existing virtual disk. We will extend the size of one of the virtual disk files and We'll see how dynamically we'll be able to extend our logical volume to utilize that extra space or the storage. To do that, we'll shut down the virtual machine. This is needed because we are going to extend the size of the virtual disk. Go to settings, storage, and select one of the disks that was already added, that was already used to create our volume group that is PM Linux 3, which has a size of 2 GB. And on top of this disk, we created two partitions. So now, remember the location. Go to File, Virtual Media Manager. Select this third file, which is 2 GB in size. Then increase the size to 3 GB. So we added one extra GB to this virtual disk file. Click apply and close. Then we'll start our virtual machine again. Next we'll add a physical volume to a volume group or pool. Please note that we just extended one of the virtual disk files by 1 GB. The original size was 2 GB in size and we made made it 3 GB but this extra 1 GB storage is not yet utilized by our server that is the Linux server. To utilize this extra storage we will use the LVMs that we created. First let's start a terminal window. Go to the device directory. If you remember the file that we just extended by 1 GB is represented by the device SDC. We already created two partitions on the device SDC. Now we will create another partition because we have now one extra GB added to that device. So add disk dev SDC. Print the partition table. We have a total size of around 3 GB and there are two partitions already created and we are going to create a third partition and it will be a primary partition we still have available slots to create two more primary partitions so default is P press enter default is 3 that is the third part primary partition and sector is taken by default as 4194304. If you see the last sector that was used by the second partition is 4194303 and it is 304. Press enter and the last sector is taken by default. Press enter and 
print the partition table again and it has now three partitions or physical volumes as the c1 as the c2 as the c3 now make these changes permanent if you see this warning message it simply means that the partition we created on a device a disk device which is already being used so the changes or the new partition that we created will be reflected in the next server reboot you don't have to run a part probe at this time we'll go through this in a later chapter now we have one more disk to be utilized that is the dev sdd which was created with a size of 10 gb now we'll create one partition on that sdd using fdisk print the partition table and this device has a size of 10.7 gigs create new primary partition p by default first partition that is one first sector 2048 last sector by default press enter and print the partition table again so we have a new physical volume or a partition created on the disk sdd with the name sdd1 make the changes permanent w and we are done now we will list out all the devices and physical logical volumes using the ssm list command clear ssm list and you see that our SDC device which is 3GB in size has two partitions listed here the third partition, partition that we created is not yet listed because that will be reflected only after we reboot the server but the new device that was added SDD with a size 10GB and its first physical volume or the partition SDD1 is listed here so what we can do we can dynamically extend our file system which is based on the logical volume lv oracle and we'll do that by utilizing this extra space available that is the second partition of the device sdc and the first partition of the device sdd so right now the size of the file system u001 is approximately 2 gb and after adding these two partitions or physical volumes it should be around 11 GB more that is it's going to be a total of 13 GB approximately so first of all to increase the size of the logical volume first we have to add those extra physical volumes available to our volume group or the pool with the name VZ Oracle to do that we'll use the command SSM add minus P is the oracle the name of the pool or the volume group and the name of the devices that is sdc2 which is not yet used and sdd1 so ssm add minus p physical volume minus p the volume group name dev as the c2 dev as the d1 and the volume group vz oracle has been successfully extended next we'll resize a logical volume and also extend a file system online which is based on that logical volume once the volume group is extended we can extend our file systems or our logical volumes dynamically to do that we'll use the ssm resize command ssm resize name of our logical volume minus s plus by how many gigabytes we want to extend the, the logical volume it's up to us we know that the pool or the volume group that this logical volume is based on has approximately 13 GB extra available for us 
so we can comfortably add 10 GB more to the logical volume and press enter and it has been successfully completed now we'll see the file system that is mounted on u001 is increased in size by another 10 gigs so the final size should be approximately 12 gigs ssm list and you see that it's approximately 12 gigs in size with the f minus h and you see that the size is 12 gigs use 34 available approximately 12 gigs only one percent is used in u001 so this is how the logical volume management facilitate us dynamically resizing allocating storage to our file systems and makes our life easier with these four topics covered today i would like to conclude today's episode in the next video i will cover how to clone a virtual machine how to change the ip address of the virtual server hosted on your virtual machine and how to change the host name of the virtual server hosted on your virtual machine so viewers i hope you liked the video and found it useful and if you did please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for similar educational videos to come in the future